Have you ever wondered if animals can get uh, buzzed? <laughs> well, it turns out that some of our ocean friends may be a bit experimental. Today we're diving into the story of dolphins and their fascinating, possibly mind-altering interactions with puffer fish. So grab your snorkel, hit that like button, and let's ride this wave together. All right, let's set the scene. Dolphins, as we know, are not only highly intelligent, but are also super curious and playful. They're known for their social behavior, their ability to learn tricks, and even for helping each other out. But what scientists recently observed is a whole new level of dolphin shenanigans. These marine mammals seem to interact with pufferfish in some very unusual ways. Instead of hunting pufferfish as prey or avoiding them as a threat, dolphins pass the puffer around, like a game of hot potato. Only in this case, it's more like puff potato. Ooh, okay. <laughs> All right, that was bad, but stay with me. So, what's the big deal with pufferfish? These spiky guys are famous for inflating when they're stressed, creating a back-off warning. But that's not their only trick. Pufferfish contain tetrodotoxin, a super-powerful neurotoxin. And yes, it's as dangerous as it sounds. This toxin can paralyze or even kill in large doses. People in Japan have been eating pufferfish for centuries, carefully, of course, in a dish called fugu. But one wrong bite and... Let's just say dinner could be your last. Now, back to our dolphin friends. Unlike us, they're not interested in culinary experiments. Instead, they seem to handle the puffer with such finesse, avoiding the full force of its toxin. Here's where it gets fascinating. After a little playtime with the puffer fish, dolphins often drift to the surface and hang around in a trance-like state. They stare at their reflections, slowly glide around, and seem oddly relaxed. Researchers watching these scenes began to wonder if the dolphins were getting a mild buzz from the puffer's neurotoxin. In small doses, tetrodotoxin may have a narcotic effect, causing a slight sense of euphoria. So is it possible that dolphins are, well, getting high? Imagine dolphins having a chill-out session after a long day in the ocean. I mean, they do say dolphins are one of the smartest animals. Maybe they're just ahead of us in the relaxation department. Of course, scientists are cautious about jumping to conclusions. Marine biologists studying this behavior haven't fully confirmed if the dolphins are actively seeking out a high or if it's an accidental side effect of playing with pufferfish. Dolphins could just be curious and playful, and the high might be incidental. But given dolphins' intelligence, it's possible they've discovered how to use the puffer's toxins for a little pick-me-up. After all, many animals in the wild are known to consume naturally intoxicating substances, like monkeys that eat fermented fruit to get a little buzz or certain birds that eat plants with psychoactive properties. Dolphins aren't the only animals with a taste for the unusual. Elephants, for instance, sometimes get tipsy from overripe marula fruit, and monkeys love fermented berries. And let's not forget our pet cats. Give them a whiff of catnip, and it's party time. Animals experimenting with intoxicants may be more common than we think. Whether dolphins are purposely seeking a high or just playing with their food, this behavior reminds us how intricate and intelligent these creatures are. Their curiosity and social dynamics make the ocean a more fascinating place. It's another reason to protect and respect our oceans because there's still so much we don't know. So, what do you think? Are dolphins just playful pranksters of the sea, or are they the true pioneers of oceanic relaxation? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button and see you in the next video.